Are you worried about suffering a heart attack? Maybe you're overweight, have high blood pressure or high cholesterol and are concerned. Whatever your situation is, there is hope. Making specific tweaks to your diet can dramatically help reduce your risk of heart attacks. And here's where superfoods step in. These are foods that are nutritionally dense and rich in compounds such as antioxidants, fibre and fatty acids. Eating foods that supply an abundance of these things can help support cardiovascular health. In this video, we're going to explore the top five superfoods to help prevent heart attacks and supercharge your health. We'll also learn about a food you can grow on your kitchen bench that has an incredible plant compound that could be your secret weapon to stave off cardiovascular disease. That's all coming up in just a minute. But first, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We've got amazing new content each week. Also stick around because later in this video, we'll show you how to receive two free gifts on us. Now let's start the countdown to the top five superfoods to avoid heart attacks. Number five, avocado. Avocados have even more potassium than bananas. Come loaded with monounsaturated fats, contain the master of all antioxidants. L, glutathione, are rich in fiber, and provide a great array of nutrients from vitamin C to magnesium, both of which have cardioprotective qualities. Firstly, let's look at potassium and how it can help prevent heart attacks. Potassium is key for keeping blood pressure in a healthy range. It helps balance out the negative effects that too much sodium can have on blood pressure. A 2011 review found that consuming at least 4.7 grams of potassium per day can decrease blood pressure by an average of 8 to 4.1 millimetres of mercury. This is associated with a 15% lower risk of stroke. The healthy fats in avocados support a strong cardiovascular system too. Monounsaturated fats help keep cell membranes functioning optimally and are anti-inflammatory. Heart attacks often occur when there is too much inflammation in the body. So eating foods that help combat inflammation is key. The healthy fat in avocado also keeps you feeling satisfied and aids absorption of nutrients. Another reason avocado is so helpful to prevent heart attacks is that they're a great source of antioxidants. Avocados contain some of the highest concentrations of L-glutathione. This is known as the master antioxidant as it enables all other antioxidants to function. The L-glutathione in avocados supports healthy inflammation levels and gut health. Antioxidants help protect cells against free radical damage and detoxifies the body. Detoxification and cell protection are important for cardiovascular health. Additionally, this superfood is a good source of fiber. Having adequate fiber in the diet lowers the risk of heart disease. An article published in the British Medical Journal stated that great dietary fibre intake is associated with a lower risk of both cardiovascular disease and coronary heart disease. Number four, walnuts. These wrinkly nuts are normally associated with desserts such as coffee or carrot cake, foods which may not help support your cardiovascular system. But these nuts certainly pack a punch when it comes to nutrition. They contain key nutrients such as zinc, selenium, iron, manganese, magnesium and potassium, the latter two being essential for keeping blood pressure in balance. Magnesium plays a critical role in relaxing our blood vessels, enabling blood to flow with ease. As we already mentioned, potassium helps lessen the negative effects of sodium. It also aids to ease tension in your blood vessel walls, which helps further lower blood pressure. In addition to the impressive array of minerals in walnuts, they also contain antioxidants and healthy fats. First, let's look at the fats in these nuts. They are one of the few plant sources of omega-3 fats in the form of alpha-linolenic acid, ALA. Research shows that ALA can reduce inflammation. This is an important factor in the development of chronic disease. Lowering inflammation can improve arterial health, and other factors contributing to heart disease. A 2008 study looked at 3,638 individuals and found that people who consumed more ALA had a lower risk of heart attack than those who ate less. It's interesting to note that walnuts also contain omega-6 linoleic acid, 
This can have cholesterol lowering abilities and is hugely beneficial for our health when it's in a whole food form such as walnuts. Now let's look at the antioxidants in walnuts. Out of all tree nuts, these are the richest source of antioxidants. And like avocados, they contain the master antioxidant, glutathione. This is important for maintaining cellular health. Another great thing about this antioxidant is that it helps the body excrete harmful chemicals, heavy metals and other toxins. It's used for immune disorders, autism, digestive disorders like colitis and of course cardiovascular diseases. One scientific study compared giving participants a walnut-rich meal versus a refined fatty meal. The results showed that after the walnut-rich meal, the LDL bad cholesterol had been protected from oxidation, whereas after the refined fatty meal, the LDL cholesterol had been oxidised. The important thing to understand here is, when LDL cholesterol is oxidised, it's more likely to build up in your arteries and cause heart attacks. Therefore, eating foods such as walnuts which reduce oxidation can be helpful for avoiding heart attacks. Why not try pairing walnuts with fresh fruit? Add them to smoothies, sprinkle them onto a salad or soup at lunch, and use in stir fries or curries at dinner. Next, we're going to look at a food that the native people of Central and South America have enjoyed for thousands of years. It was so highly valued that they celebrated it through oral history, stonework, pottery, and used it in rituals in everyday life. Can you guess what it is? Number three, raw cocoa. Keeping it in its raw form enables the nutrients to stay intact and supercharges its health benefits. One of the reasons cocoa is so beneficial for cardiovascular health is its abundance of antioxidants. The antioxidants found in it include a type of polyphenol antioxidant called flavonoids. Research indicates that people who consume high amounts of flavonoids have decreased rates of cancers, mental decline, and of course, heart disease. Studies have found raw cocoa can help reduce the oxidation of LDL cholesterol, an important factor in maintaining a healthy cardiovascular system. Furthermore, the flavonoids in cocoa have been found to increase production of nitric oxide in the blood vessels. Nitric oxide helps the vessels to contract and dilate with ease thus improving blood flow and reducing risk of heart attacks. This delicious food has also been found to have a blood thinning effect similar to aspirin, improve blood sugars and reduce inflammation. Finally, cocoa is also a rich source of magnesium, the most efficient mineral in the Western world. Magnesium is important for a healthy heart. It helps turn glucose into energy, enabling the brain to work with laser sharp clarity and focus. Magnesium is also essential for regulating blood pressure and supporting a strong immune system. It also performs over 300 enzyme reactions in the body. The great thing about cocoa is that it tastes delicious and is believed to help elevate your mood. It can be whizzed up into a smoothie, added to raw desserts such as protein and energy balls, or why not try making your own raw chocolate? In a moment, we're going to discover how a food you can grow on your kitchen bench could significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack. But first, if you can't get enough of these tips for avoiding heart attacks, then why not download our free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. And if you'd really like to understand the full picture for fighting and preventing heart disease, check out episode one of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Both gifts are free and waiting for you now. Just click the link in the description below. Number two, broccoli sprouts. Most people know that eating broccoli has many health benefits from reducing risk of cancer to aiding in the prevention of heart disease. However, I'd like to draw your attention to broccoli sprouts, a small but mighty plant that offers many positive health benefits. Broccoli sprouts are grown from broccoli seeds in a matter of days. Interestingly, they have a special phytochemical called sulforaphane. This phytochemical has been researched in great depth for its ability to help with digestion, fight malignant cells, aid in detoxification, protect the skin, and of course, help protect the heart. Sulforaphane is found in abundance in broccoli sprouts, which contain 20 to 40 times more of it than mature broccoli. So how does it protect our cardiovascular system? Heart disease is formed by a number of things, such as blood vessel linings becoming dysfunctional, plaques building up in the arteries, infections, 
and inflammation. Over time, these issues can lead to a heart attack. However, some researchers think that sulforaphane could help. A 2010 study took two groups of mice for 10 days. One group received 2% of their diets from broccoli sprouts, and the other group received no broccoli sprouts. The scientists then created the same conditions as a heart attack. They wanted to see if the broccoli sprout would offer protection, and their speculations were found to be true. It turned out the group who'd been eating broccoli sprouts had 78 to 86% fewer heart cells die than the other group. They also had 82 to 116% less oxidative stress. Researchers have also found that consuming broccoli sprouts reduces inflammation and ensures our blood vessels work optimally, thus allowing our blood to flow with ease and reducing the risk of heart attacks. Sulforaphane also seems to offer particular protection to our DNA. Therefore, it has been associated with aiding in preventing cancer and tumour growth. So how do we get the benefits of these potent sprouts? Well, you can obviously sprout them yourself or buy them ready sprouted from a health food shop as a powder or supplement form. We're about to unveil our number one superfood for helping to avoid heart attacks. A food that gram for gram is thought to be the most nutrient dense food in the world. Just don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Heart Disease Code. Also be sure to grab both of your two free gifts the surprising truth about fat and cholesterol and episode one of the untold story of heart disease by clicking the link in the description below. Our number one superfood is spirulina. This green algae is a superfood that certainly deserves its title. It's jam-packed with nutrients and provides minerals such as iron, selenium, calcium, zinc, manganese, magnesium, potassium, as well as vitamins such as vitamins A, E, K, C and B vitamins. Aside from the astounding amount of nutrients, it's a great source of protein. Protein plays a vital role in weight loss, increasing muscle mass, lowering blood pressure and improving bone health. Spirulina is also abundant in antioxidants. One of note is phycocyanin, which provides great anti-inflammatory effects aiding your body to fight against free radical damage. Spirulina may be beneficial in helping to prevent cardiovascular disease too. Some studies suggest it can help to prevent LDL cholesterol from oxidation and to lower triglycerides, both important factors for lowering risk of heart attacks. A 2001 study conducted on people with type 2 diabetes found that a daily dose of 2 grams significantly improved their blood lipid profiles. Interestingly, a 2015 study on patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease found that those who consumed spirulina reduced their oxidative stress and improved their blood lipids. Further to this, larger doses of 4.5 grams or more have been found to lower blood pressure. This is because of the way spirulina increases the body's production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a signaling molecule that enables the blood vessels to relax and constrict optimally. Finally, there have been several studies which suggest spirulina can help to lower blood sugar levels. It has even outperformed certain diabetic drugs in lowering blood sugar levels. Keeping blood sugar in a healthy range is critical if you want to avoid the cascade effects of inflammation that all too often lead to chronic health conditions such as heart disease and eventually heart attacks. With all these amazing benefits, spirulina may be one of the few superfoods worthy of the title. And that's why it sits at our number one spot. So there you have it, our five superfoods to incorporate into your heart healthy diet. Make sure to stay tuned to Heart Disease Code to discover more wonderful nutrition and wellness insights. And once again, don't leave without grabbing both of your two free gifts. Just click that link below. Thanks for watching. Have a heart healthy day.